Hello and welcome to the channel. In a previous video, we've seen how to add a web query to a worksheet in Excel using VBA macros. In this video, we will see how to update the web query or what are the options to update or refresh uh, the web queries, and we will see some other example. In the previous video, we've seen how to add a table with public holidays from a given country in Excel, and this is the exact same macro to get the total COVID cases in different countries in the world. Uh, so the only difference is the website, right? So, and this is actually this website, let me show you. And in this website, there is there are some charts. We are not interested in that, but there is a table with all the numbers. And we have the total cases, new cases, and so on for each country. And this is the table that we, are, that we have got here with this uh, web query. So as you see, the table is, is here with all the cases for the different countries. OK? And, and again, this is exactly the same macro. So if you don't know how to do this and you're interested to, to know more about it, check out the other video. So um, we are using a query table object variable where we will set the, the query table. Um, and this is a URL type of query table. So we have a website. And then we are selecting all the tables in the, in the website. So now, there are different ways to update this query. The, probably the best way would be to set the update or refresh options when we add the query the first time. So if you see here uh, with the QT, uh, the query, we could actually set the refresh on file open to true. And that would refresh this query every time we open the, the file. That, that's probably one of the best options. But let's say we don't want to refresh it every time. We just want to, we may want to add a button to click the button and refresh it only when we click that button. So in that case, let me add a new module. What we would do is the following. So we'll have here update COVID web query. And what we will do here is we will Again, count the number of uh, queries first. So the QT count is the active sheet query tables count. And if the count is not zero, then we are going to, in the active sheet, with query tables one, with that query table, we're going to refresh it. But else, if, if we don't have any, any query table, we are actually going to call the previous, the previous procedure here to add the web query. In my case, I have the web query already, so I don't need to, to add it. But if, you, if your workbook is empty, you will have to add it first. OK? So this would refresh the, the web query. We're going to see that in a moment. Now, we could add a button or, you know, there are many different ways to add a button or to run the macro. Uh, and this is covered in the tutorial for beginners. So have a look there if you're interested. And we could also set uh, an event procedure. So for example, if we go to this workbook and we select the workbook, we could, we could refresh our web query when we open the workbook. And this so let me copy this and put it here. So when we open the workbook, it will call this update COVID web query macro here, and it will refresh the table. And we could also do that, of course, as I explained earlier, um, adding that to the initial query. So adding that here uh, to the initial query. So let me now play this and refresh and see, for example, we, we see the US has 66,162,759. Um, so let's play it and see, if, and see if we refresh the values. And here we go. The table has been updated with the latest numbers. So that's how we update or refresh a web query table in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.